Alrighty, man. Um, I guess uh, I'll go ahead and show you how to make an automator. Uh, this is for anybody who doesn't really know how to use it. Um, I don't really know how to use it totally, like um, in depth a lot, but um, I know how to do like the basic stuff in it. So, anyways, um, my main thing that I wanted to use it for is um, basically in my iTunes library, I have a whole bunch of uh, TV shows that I, you know, obviously burned. And um, I wanted to name them, you know, do them all sequential, like one, two, three, four, because there's like, I don't know, 50 episodes or something in there. So I just wanted to number them instead of having to go to get info and do them all by itself. So I'll just show you how to use Automator to do it. Um, I'm just going to do it on just two files. Uh, these are picture files, but you, it works the same whether or not you're going to do it from any type of file if you want to do them in sequential order. So the first thing I want to do is I just have them in this folder here. And you know, all you're going to do is select them. You're going to right click. And you're going to go down to more. And you're going to open up Automator and hit create workflow. <clears throat> now go ahead and put your files. All your files that you select will come in here. And then uh, for this action, all I want to do is type in rename. And it's going to say rename finder item. So I'm going to grab that, drop it down below. Uh, basically, this says that it's you know it's going to uh, duplicate the file, which is which is fine. Um, so I'll go ahead and hit that. Um, sometimes um, they say you have to drop this above that and then drop it back down. Um, I don't know why. I don't think it's really a big deal, but uh, sometimes you have to do that, I guess, and sometimes you don't. I'm not. I'm not sure. Um, this is on like my third day messing around. With, actually, my second day messing around with it. So um, I I never really ran into a problem. But anyways, so. Uh, you're gonna go down to here, so this you know this is gonna be the place that you're gonna save it to. So obviously, um, I'll just click other. I'm still gonna use the desktop. I'm gonna create a new folder. My new folder. I'm just gonna name it BMW. And then hit create, and then that's obviously the the uh, file I want. And you can see that it already created a folder here on my desktop. So I'm gonna hit OK. Then this is gonna be you know your basically your action, what you want to rena rename it. So I'm gonna hit make sequential. And I'm going to hit new name. Now I'm just going to type in BMW. Then after that, um, you know, you're going to either place the number before it or after it. I'll just do after it. And then you can start with the number one. You can start with uh, zero, one, or however you want to do it. But I'll just do it for one right now. And then, so basically, this is just a little example. It's going to be BMW dash one dot whatever dot one dot two dot three you know whatever you want so uh, basically that's that's what it's gonna do so then that's what I want so all I'm gonna do is hit run and it's so it's pretty fast and you can just hit I'll go over here and I'll open this up and there you go named them all in order so instead of doing it from your iTunes library you actually would do it from from your actual files so like you can do it with your, your music or your movies um, so basically what, what I did is I have my uh, all my stuff stored here in my external drive. So what I did is I just opened up my file that had all the TV shows in that one. I selected all of them and did the same thing. It takes a little longer to do videos because I think it, it duplicates the file. Um, at least I had it do it that way. So it takes a little while, but once it's done, it's done. And then um, if you have a lot of files, like I just did my wedding and I had like 600 uh, photos, um, it's, it doesn't put it back in the folder, you know, in order. So obviously you just click here and then you just arrange it by name. And then as soon as you do that, it will it'll put them all in order for you. So that's it, man. But yeah, that's the way you do it. So uh, you could do it with pretty much anything if you want it in sequential order like this. And this is, this is going to save me a bunch of time. You know, I can do all my pictures now and, and it's really cool. So that's pretty much it. Uh, you can save it if you want to. Um, which I don't, um, but you can save it so you can, you know, you could open it, put it as a plug-in or whatever you want to do. And then here's just another thing that you can pick from, so you can pick from photos or from music. I think it's easier just to go to the f the file that you actually have the stuff in, uh, select it that way, or throw all the photos or create a folder like this and throw everything into that folder that you want to rename, and then do the whole process that way. So anyways, um, I know I haven't done a video in a long time. This is my first video in a long, long time. 
Uh, just a little quick update. I did sell my XPS. I don't have it anymore. So this is my only machine. So anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.